so I'm going to really make a little video here about what life is like for me in NSU, how the classes were, and how the professors were. But I'm going to try to leave a very good positive note on everything. Because I've seen some videos that, and, and it happened in other places that, um, Classes were like some professors try to hold the student in for about two hours. And I tell you from my own standpoint and and that I just gradu graduated and all, an issue was not the case. Because look, you know, um we meet about in most classes I've noticed, the most we met is around fifty minutes. And here's the why part, because it gives the students more time to, let's say they got to go from, because um, I can say from my example, some of my classes were in between um, Lindsay Hall, <coughs> Lindsay Hall and Talbot Hall. It gave me time to completely go to, um, from Lindsay to Talbot within 10 minutes. Because sometimes I had classes that were like, what, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes after a certain class ends. And if your class happens to be the earliest at 8 o'clock, the some, most cases, unless you're asking for a professor to help you out, the 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 least the the scenario you can expect there. If your class um let's say starts at eight, which most of the method classes, if your professor, um, I'm just speaking of music experience. Every experience is very different. The least you can expect. You would probably be out of that class by eight fifty. So, whenever time your class completely started, um, that's the, and you just go from there and figure out fifty minutes. That's the time your class ends. Or sometimes, it would just say on your schedule what time you're supposed to end. So that's to be clear. My second point is professors don't have a student scan and turn in 100 pages. Because, like, professors kind of realize when their students, let's say, have other classes. Let's say the most I've had was seven. And 100 pages is like, a lot to ask of a student. Just gotta study for other exams, gotta write other essays, and they will not be sleeping at night. So that was, I'm thankful my professors didn't try to overwhelm me with too much. And um, thirdly, okay, the third point I was gonna bring up like, and if somebody said that, um, let's say, reading three chapters by the next day, that's a lie for some people. If you had reading assignments, let's say you had quizzes and all, and most of my professors, general ed, music, music classes, what they do, and I'm thankful for it, all the in-person physical classes. I'm thankful that they got it to where a student can take the time to read the material, material correctly and to get the most out of their education. That means the teachers will, okay, most cases to create a schedule of what is being covered in the class. That means it's up to the student's responsibility to um to read what's assigned um and to order to prepare for the lecture. 
And if your class is like, okay, you have a reading, you got a discussion, and you have a quiz, then the best approach is to kind of pace yourself on what is being due by that certain date. Sometimes the teacher would have it a few days before the exam. To means try to pick up a chapter every day to kind of, um, to increase that load that way you're not as overwhelmed the night before the exam or the few days before that or whatever the shutoff date is for it that your teacher sets. I hope this helps so, so much and I really appreciate all the teachers that ever has taught me. They made my life so much easier and doable and I wasn't as overwhelmed. And the best news for my life right now, I just got mm, today from a band teacher from Evergreen, Mr. Salmon. He said that I, I'll be um, coming over to help with Christmas concert and concerts, concert season as soon as I get all the stuff situated. So that's a good note and I am glad to have connections with the past teachers and everybody has been in my life since university. And I thank you all for being a part of me in a way. And thank you for helping me achieve where where I need to be. And also the fact for helping me live to be in my fullest potential. I love all of you and I'll see you in the next one.